welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we are going to be doing a transformation video, but just not any transformation. I'm going to be transforming myself into a girl K-pop idol. So I had this wig from a brand called Insert Name Hair, and for the longest time, I knew that this was going to be a girl K-pop idol wig, but I just didn't know who. So after asking you all on Instagram and doing some of my own research, I found out that this wig in particular kind of looks like Momo from Twice. Thus, this video was born, and so today I'm just going to be doing a makeup transformation, hair transformation, and also might learn the special dance. Ooh! I'm not the best dancer, just for funsies to add into this video. Um, but yeah, if you want to see more transformation videos in the future, um, I was thinking about doing one where I transform myself into Mark from NCT, Super M, one of those bands, because a lot of people say that I kind of look like his gay twin. But yes, without further ado, let's get into the transformation. Why hello there! Welcome to my studio here in my new apartment in LA. It's probably echoey, but you know what? We're just gonna move past that. So I've done guy makeup looks before in the past, recreating like K-pop idol looks, um, but I've never done a girl one, so it's going to be much more of a subtle look. First things first, I'm going to be starting off with my primer, and this here is actually one of my favorite primers. It's from a K-Beauty brand too, which is very fitting for this video, um, but it's a moisturizing primer, and I have oily skin, but I've noticed that every time I use like a mattifying primer, just like the texture of the primer just like pills off, and it's just like not cute. Let me just move my bang real quick. But this primer just glides on so nicely, so smooth, and just like, mmm. For foundation, I'm going to be going in with this Hello Happy one. And I love this foundation because it's really lightweight and great for every day. Also, it has SPF and you always want to use protection, my children. Always use protection. I honestly have not really listened to much K-pop from girl groups. Um, I've listened to like Blackpink and Twice, but I think Twice might have to be my favorite girl group. I just love their sound. It's just super nice and bright and poppy, but not too cutesy because I just, I don't think that's my aesthetic really into their whole vibe and their music just makes me really happy and so um leave me a comment down below letting me know if i should react to some like girl k-pop groups that aren't blackpink twice i've heard of like itzy um promise nine i think is one so let me know if you have any ideas on you know other k-pop girl groups um whether it's reacting to music videos makeup looks girl let me know all of your ideas down below next we're just gonna go in with the boop sauce and boop boop away I love doing makeup looks like on Instagram because they're just so casual and all that. But as of recent, like Instagram's algorithm is just really screwing up with my analytics and it's kind of discouraging. But you know what? I still have a lot of fun with it either way. So I'm gonna try to find like new ways and new methods to like still make makeup looks and tutorials while you know adhering to algorithms, changes, and all that good stuff because I noticed that like IGTV, it just doesn't pop off as much anymore for some reason. Trying to figure out TikTok too, like I use TikTok and I make TikToks, but I have yet to have one that really like stands out and it's like, aha, this is exactly what I have to do. Social media in general right now is kind of frustrating and toxic for me, but you know what? I am on it still because I love talking to y'all. I love making content that inspires y'all, that entertains y'all, so that's what keeps me going, the passion, you know? And I think that's something that we really need to keep in mind in life is just to be grateful for what you have and the people that you have and have that drive, you know what I mean? To just be yourself, do what you want to do and help impact the world in a positive way. Now I know K-pop idols go for like that bright glass skin complexion. I genuinely have oily skin so it will just come out naturally. Now since the wig that I'm going to be using is a much lighter color, um, for the brows I'm going to be going ahead and doing a nice little brunette moment. <laughs> Alright, so we have the eyebrows, aka the boyfriend's own. As for the eyes, I'm actually going to be taking this new Hula palette, and it's their new Cheek Stars Reunion Tour palette, and I actually went to Florida with them to promote this palette and everything. It's such a fun trip, by the way. They basically just revamped up all these classic shades, um, but I'm going to be going in with this Hula shade as eyeshadow. And I'm just going to focus this shade on the outer portion of my eye and bring it down in my lower lash line as well. Then with some mascara, I'm just going to massacre my lashes up. Then with some brown eyeliner, I'm actually just going to tight line my waterline. 
Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And that's just gonna open up your eyes and give you that like dolly-like effect and just like So with the reference photo that I'm using of Momo from Twice, um, I noticed that she has like a little shimmer in her like little inner tear duct, inner eye corner area. And so I'm going to be taking the same um, Benefit palette and going in with this highlighter shade, Cookie. Super cute iridescent shade, wearable for every day. And I'm just gonna lightly pop that and bring that down all the way in here. Also just gonna snatch my nose a little bit, make it look more cute and dainty. So I just popped on the most natural pair of lashes that I have. I'm pretty sure you could find even more natural ones and I personally would go with those too. Um, but these were the only ones that I have in my collection to add that extra feminine touch. As for my blush, I'm gonna be going in with Sugar Bomb and Georgia. Georgia is an older one, I think, and they revamped it up. And Sugar Bomb, I believe, is a newer shade. So, girl, we're just gonna do a little nice, cheeky cocktail moment. Then with that Hula Bronzer, I'm just gonna tuck this right under my little cheekbone and bring it down my jawline as well to slim my face and give it a more feminine look. Oh, and we cannot forget my six head. And then for highlight, I'm gonna be going in with the shade Cookie again and just lightly Running that on my cheekbone. We don't want too much. We still want that natural glow. Okay, we don't want a super glamorous glow. Mmm, set all that. Ooh, honey. Ooh, yes. Oh, wait, by the way, look at my freaking BTS fan. How adorable is that? As for lips, we're gonna be going in with a pink shade, and I never really wear pink. I just don't think it suits me, but for this look, we're just gonna be trying her out. Hmm. Hmm. Honestly, I just put like one swipe, like basically one layer, and it gives that like K-pop kind of like lip tint feel, and I'm digging it. For gloss, I'm gonna be going in with this Fenty Beauty one. Oh yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. Rihanna could never do wrong. All right, and here is the completed natural K-pop Momo from Twice inspired look. Um, super subtle, very wearable, and also, I might start wearing pink. I definitely do want to look for lashes that I can wear like every day, honestly, because like they're fun. But I feel like these are still a little too much. Is this one popping off? Hello? So this is her. She's from Insert Name Here, and they sent this to me a while ago. And this was the wig that inspired this video because it had bangs and everything. And I don't know, when I put it on, it really just reminds me of like a girl K-pop idol. And so... That is why this video is a thing. First things first, wig cap. Oh lordy, oh lordy. Uh, we got some stray kids up in here. <laughs> oh, she is messy. She needs to be brushed the F out. Uh, uh, oh, uh, <laughs> oh my goodness, there's so much hair. It's like tickling my face. <laughs> All right, the hard part is done, but now we just need to brush her out like Ariel. Ooh, I kind of look pretty, kind of, I am pretty. Wait, this might be the move, wigs with a big bang. <laughs> also with the bang, I don't have to worry about the wig line or hairline or whatever, so it's super easy. You just toss it on, I look cute, it covers my forehead. I think this is the move. Now with the bang situation, do I want a middle e-boy part? Do I want to swoop to one side or all down? I low-key look like Justin Bieber when he had the swoop days. And here's with the bangs down. What do we think? What do we think? Ooh, honey, I feel so special. We have our hip go to the left side. And then at the same time, your hands are going to cross in front of your chest. And then open like that. And then go to the top. Is that it? Moving on to the second part of the part. Second part? Oh, oh my god. Okay, now let's go over the entire course. 
entire chorus. I literally one time watch through. Let's go. Goodness. Oh shoot. I don't. I don't. One take, I did it. Um, that was with no practices, literally one time watch through. Um, but I hope you enjoyed that. If you want me to do a whole video about it, I'll, I'll, I'll probably learn it. So let me know down below. Alrighty, everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did like this video, up, also leave me a comment down below letting me know if I were to debut from a girl group, what is the name of my group? I had so much fun doing this lovely transformation. I feel super feminine and girly, and so, um, yeah, let me know if you want to see more transformation videos. Also, um, what other wig styles I should do. Honestly, like, just feeling super inspired right now. Today's flawless feature goes to this person right here. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. I appreciate you so much, and it does not go unnoticed. If you want to have your very own shout out in the next flawless feature, all you have to do is take a picture or a video on your Instagram story that you're watching my latest YouTube video, and tag me at flawlesskevin, and that is all you have to do. But yes, I love you all so much, and remember everyone to be flawless is to be yourself. Bye!